Hi, I'm the Mr. Baker, and today I'm just going to do a quick little check-in with you for my January 2020 stash busting totals and show you what I've made this month. Hello, how are you all doing? Um, today is Tuesday. And I just wanted to hop on here and talk a little bit about my stash buster progress for 2020. Uh, if you don't know, I am doing a self-imposed challenge um, to try and get myself to use more of my stash and buy less. Uh, I have a pretty bad habit of seeing a pattern I like, seeing a new project I want to make, and instead of looking at what I already have fabric-wise or supply-wise, I instantly get on Etsy or look at a local quilt shop and think, okay, what do I need to buy to make this project? And the reality is that I don't need to buy anything. I have so, so much fabric. So anyway, if that is something that you're interested in doing as well, um, on my blog at www.amistabaker.com, you can find the sign-up link for um, the quarterly newsletters that I'll be sending. You can find free printables, and um, here on the very last day of the month of January, I will be showing you what I'm showing you here today, which will be listing all the products projects that I've made and how much fabric that I used. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, first up, uh, I believe the first thing that I made this month was a pillowcase, which I don't have right here. It's actually on my daughter's bed. Um, it was a pillowcase for my daughter using the December 2019 Cotton Cuts Modern Maker Box fabric. So this project was actually um, one that I had wanted to make as soon as I saw the fabric. I was really um, in love with it and I saw the purple and the black and I knew like my daughter's going to absolutely love this. I'm going to make her a pillowcase because I had actually made um, my younger daughter pillowcases and I wanted to make um, my oldest something. So that's what I started out with. And then the second thing that I made this month was a set of pillowcases for charity. Uh, our local guild, which is Perry County Social Club, is doing a charity project this year where we will be um, donating handmade pillowcases for um, children in need. So as of right now, we're fairly certain that we'll be donating it to the local children's services office um, and these pillowcases will go to children who've been displaced from their homes. Um, so right here, I have four of the ones that I made and these are in Riley Blake flannels. Um, you can see that I, I just, they're so freaking cute. We were at, me and some friends were at Zinc's Fabric Outlet in, I believe it's Berlin, Ohio, up near Amish country. And, um, we were shopping for fabric and on my main list for our trip was flannel for these pillowcases for the charity project so um we browsed through all their flannels we found lots and lots of good stuff a lot of the prices were $5.99 $4.99 a yard um this one I don't remember who the manufacturer is but I will say this might have been just a Zinx brand um this is just a plain pillowcase, you know, I didn't do a, a cuff that's different or anything, but it's soft. It's very soft. And this one right here you may have seen on my Instagram if you follow me. It was my favorite. Um, this is another Riley Blake flannel, and it is the NASA flannels. Um, I have one more of these cut out. But I have not made it yet because I'm actually going to be using it for a um, little class, I guess you could say, at our quilt club. I'm going to teach the ladies who will be participating in the charity project with us uh, how to make the pillowcase firsthand so that they are confident when they go home. Okay, so the next project was just a really simple bobble pod from... Um, my own pattern and this is 
<clears throat> a hack for my popcorn pouch pattern and essentially what it does is it shows you how to make a popcorn pouch the mini size with the keychain on it and then it shows you how to finish the bottom so that it's a little chunkier um these are really great for airpods ear pods or you know whatever you, you call those things um earbuds even with the wire on them uh, change, lip balm, whatever you want to put in them. Um, they're just a great little pouch. So I made one of those for myself because ironically enough, even though it is my pattern, I have not made one for myself. Um, what's next? Okay. Next was a set, a full set of popcorn pouches. Um, I have two events coming up in February. On February 1st, I will be at Dabble and Stitch in Columbus, Ohio. And um, I'm there for a meet and greet and they're also having 20% off of my popcorn pouch pattern that day in store. And I believe they're doing 20% off um, fabric if you finish a bolt. So I made this set. Let me go ahead and pull all these out of here. I made this set to take with me to dabble and stitch because um, although I do have sets here, some of them I have sold, and so they may not be complete. And this is a complete set of four pouches. And if you haven't tried this pattern yet, it is extremely easy. I mean, even someone who has never sewn with zippers before, um, it's pretty detailed in the pattern. Um, there's great photos. And uh, another thing is I have a video already up on my YouTube channel that helps you, um, gives you my favorite tips for sewing with zippers and how you can do it easily. And some of them are kind of unconventional. They're not things that you would think that um, you would do when sewing with zippers. But anyway, this fabric is Love Letters by Riley Blake. Um, and I'm just gonna show you one that I made here. So as you can see, this one has the little love letter selvage on it and I cut the little hearts out and kind of like machine applique those on to the pouch. Um, they're very, very cute. The fabric is very kind of like vintage looking and it has a really like whimsy feel. This is a string on there. This is one of the mini popcorn pouches. Um, you can see that it also has a keychain just like the bottle pod, but again, where's it at? they're finished differently. Same pattern, different finish on the bottoms. So you can do two different things, you know? Um, and then this is the large. These are really good for packages of baby wipes. Um, you could put a package of baby wipes in here and a couple diapers and throw them in your car. I have also um, made these and I've put iron on vinyl on the, um, fabric so that when you're making the pouch it becomes waterproof and that's also really great for baby wipes um you're not going to see those dry out as quickly or maybe at all as if you were just using them with regular fabric because we all know the baby wipes dry out anyway doesn't matter if you keep it dry or not um or closed or not i should say so um the big project that i was really working on this month was the box of hearts quilt and here's one of my blocks this has been um really one of my favorite projects uh it is a little more time consuming you got to make all the hearts and then there are i believe four different block styles and you put them arrange them in a specific way in two different rows so i am doing a very um bold and saturated color palette. This is not going to be like your, you know, box of hearts that's going to look like one of those little box of sweet tarts, the pastel colors and the lights and whatever. This is going to be very um, saturated. And uh, on my Instagram, I am posting just about every day, one block per day. And you can see throughout my feed how that pattern or the color palette is coming along. I am totally in love with it. I think it's one of my favorite quilts that I've ever done. Um, so that's not finished. I believe, yeah, let me look. I'm looking at my design wall. I believe that I have 23 blocks finished for the quilt. So I'm getting there. My goal was just to finish the top. I hope the whole quilt by Valentine's day, but even if it's just by the end of February, I think I'll be happy with that. And last but not least was a full quilt finish for this month. I'll just bring this over here. So 
This is my easy half hexy quilt. And I simply took a Jaybird Quilts Hex and More roller. Um, I had 16 fat quarters. I cut up all the hexes um, with the ruler and then I sewed them together. I mean, there was no plan when I started. The only real plan was I'm gonna use half hexes and here are the fabrics that I wanna use. So what I have done is I have put the really simple blog tutorial up on my blog again at amistabaker.com for making this quilt if you would like to make one for yourself. Um, it is, it came together so fast. Like I was totally shocked. Um, I guess that I kind of shy away from piecing like that. Um, you know, it's not your traditional straight lines and well, it is straight lines, but um, if you're intimidated by something like this, I really think that you should go look at my blog, give it a try. Even if you just cut two half hexes and try piecing them in a row to see um, if you like the process or if you think it's something difficult for you. Um, but I found it to be like ridiculously easy. I was shocked. So that is my full quilt finish for the month. Um, I will say that I chose a eighth of an inch black and white stripe binding from Riley Blake for this quilt. And it just, when I looked at the quilt at the finish, I was just like, there is no other binding that I can pick for this quilt. This is the perfect binding for it. I've got bright, bold, neon colors, and I really just wanted to use a black and white stripe binding on it. And um, the Riley Blake basics are amazing. They're so soft. So I do want to show you that um, my favorite print that I put in the quilt is definitely the Ruby Star Society ice cream cones. Um, I love it so much. I just keep looking at them and they even have little like metallic um, stars on them. Um, oh, and I quilted this myself at my friend Megan's house on her long arm. So um, I have only ever used a long arm one other time at her house and it was for my tree skirt for Christmas last year. So this is my second time using the long arm. I just use a pantograph that she already had. It's very simple. You can see it's the swirls. Easy to use for somebody who's a total, total beginner on a long arm. Um, thank you, Megan. So that is it for this month. Now, I want to show you, I have a little clipboard here. Um, this is just one of the printables that I have available for the Stash Buster. Um, I have Stash Buster Tracker and Purchase Tracker, but I also have, if I can get the paper to turn, please, um, a chart for long arm expenses. Um, I did quilt my hexi quilt at Megan's, but she lets me pay in like fabric and fun stuff like that. So I don't really have any expenses. Um, now you will see that my stash busting and my purchases is a little bit different. Like I have, I have spent some money. We went, when we went on our Amish country trip, they have like dozens of quilt shops and we go to every single one of them and we just love them so much. And you just go in there and you find things that you haven't seen online or in anywhere for years and years and years, like April showers by Bonnie and Camille on bolts. So it's a little hard to control yourself. I do spend when I go there, but I'm really trying not to. Um, I want to talk to you about my January total. So all together, I used about 23 and a half yards of fabric from my own stash. Um, and you know, that's of course with the flannel pillowcases, the heart quilt top and completely finishing the hexi quilt top as well as those pouches. I used two, two key rings and five zippers and I believe about one yard of Pellin SF-101 interfacing for pouches. And um, I did give Megan 12 fat quarters and one of the stash and stores, which is one of these. I gave her a stash and store, I think it's Aqua. Um, and that's for letting her use 
letting me use her long arm, I should say. So, um, I am keeping track literally of everything that I have used for each project. Um, as far as purchases go, I'm not going to give you the whole total because math. And I'm just, it's a lot. Um, I will say though that what I did purchase in Amish country, most of it I have already used. Um, so especially the flannels that we purchased as inks because those were for charity anyway. Um, I had planned to use those, I think by February so or March. Anyway, so a lot of what I brought home, I've actually already used. There was, uh, let me look here, I believe some like a little stack of half yard cuts that I haven't used yet. And we got some Allison glass prints. Oh, I bought a sewing machine. <laughs> Did I need another one? No. Um, Megan was at a store that's actually closing and it's a little further away from where we live, but she, um, was there to buy a Janome HD 3000, like the heavy duty machine. Um, and it was only $200 and she asked me if I wanted one. I don't know if they only had one left. Um, or what it was, but I believe we got the last two. So, um, I have that now. I'm actually really happy I bought that. I'm not mad at all about the $200. That's a seal for one of those machines. I think they're normally between the five and $600 range. And the Janome that I have now, I love, especially for quilting. I feel like I, you know, I've used it for years. I'm really comfortable with it. Um, and I know how it works, you know, the little nuances to everything like you do with a machine that you've used forever. And so, um, I just wanted something that was a little bit tougher and that could really go through bags a little easier. I do struggle with the Janome 3160 QDC a little bit because it's a quilting machine. It's really not meant for heavy duty bag sewing. So, now that I have the HD3000, um, I would really like to give a wallet pattern a go, like one where I'm using like corks and stuff like that in it, um, something a little thicker, a little tougher, because even with a leather needle, my machine didn't really want to do that. So, anyways, that is my finishes, is, those are my finishes, <laughs> for January and um again if you're following along with the stash busting um it's not strict or anything like that it's just kind of like printing out the printables that I've made and just keeping yourself accountable with what you're using and what you're spending so you can get those on my blog and I will talk to you guys next time bye